Hello. Okay, so this is downtown from last weekend. And it's taken me a while to uh, make a commentary on this because I've been working overtime all week. Basically, I come home and I got like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and I can get on the computer there and play the game. And I usually spend too much time and I end up only getting like maybe five or six hours of sleep, which is, you know, probably enough for a lot of people. But I I can't deal with that. It makes, it's unhealthy, but I do as best as I can. But it doesn't leave me enough time to make these uh, overdubs and do all the processing and shit. Anyway, I like this match a lot. This was a, this was a real good one. Yeah, it's just downtown. All the downtown matches are very similar. You're just fighting over the center in the tank node, and there's not a whole lot of taxiing going on. That's actually one of the nice things about it. It makes it a little bit different, you know. A lot of these maps, um, a lot of these maps, you get hold of the orb, and you're not really doing anything. I'm playing pretty good there, I think. Not really doing anything unless you got a taxi. On this map, you can you can you can kind of travel around inside between these buildings and stuff. You got a few people that do uh, fancy stuff like uh, those hammer jumps from the building to the center and stuff like that. But mainly, it's just finding a route. It's like Floodgate that way. Floodgate, you can do that too. You can run, you can do a lot on foot in Floodgate as well. You get people on these maps that insist on having. Taxi and the taxi uh, on Bloodgate. A taxi really is an advantage because there's there's routes there that really aren't much good without a tow. But this this map here, you can pretty much go you can pretty much go everywhere with your. There's not that many uh, wide open spaces where you're you know where you're without cover. Although and and it's also a little hard to tow on this map because. Uh, Towing really kind of requires those wide open spaces. If the vehicle's constantly dodging in and out between these little constricted areas, he tends to he tends to kill his passenger. Um, it just doesn't work very well, you know. He tends to be kind of an easy target. The man is kind of an easy target on this map. Uh, there's uh, there's always scorpions around. It's it's pretty tough. And the scorpion's not all that great a vehicle for towing. So. I don't know. I guess I thought I was going to talk about what was going on in this match. You can see it's 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 really it's really a nice match. There's a lot of nice kills going on here. There's a, the fighting is really the fighting is really hard. Both teams are really going at it. They're uh, they're very energetic. They know what they're doing. They're putting some effort into it. We're about oh three four minutes into it here, and we've almost lost our prime. Just about. This is my sad attempt to try to take it back. I got hold of the bomb. We're a man down here. There's only like about, uh, what, five, nine people on here. But uh, there are gonna be people, there, this, is, this, this match here, there's people joining as it goes along. By the time we get to the end of it, there's about, uh, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 people on there. And basically, Blue's gonna get the advantage out of that. They're gonna get the, uh, the benefit of, uh, of the random factor of who joins and which team they join when they do join. We're gonna end up winning because of that pretty much. But it looks good. And there, there's the Anderthal. Doing the, uh, grabbing the tank and always try to, always try to support the Anderthal when I see, when I, when he, when he grabs a vehicle like that because he usually, he usually knows what he's doing with it. Uh, yeah, this this is very auspicious. Uh, who is this guy? I seen him back here. I seen him dump the bomb on the on the tank node. Runny Babbit. Yeah, he's gonna get like two, three kills on me here. I seen him run, dump the bomb on the uh, on the tank node, preparing to get the tank for red. Cause I already knew the tank was weak, so I figured it was probably, you know, I seen him running off in that direction. I said, well, I know what he's up to. He's going to go take that tank note down and get himself a tank. And I'm kind of chickening it out there. I'm, I'm like, you know, he killed me the last time. I'm going to back off and shoot this man, though. I don't really, you know, maybe I'll get something useful done before I die, but it didn't work out that way. So, yeah, Red's got the tank now. 
And there, there it goes. That's, this is the way I figured it would go. I'm the kind of desperately trying to shoot at it. I'll get a few shots at it. I will actually manage to take it down. I thought I was going to try to steal it. I don't know if these, uh, I don't, know if the, I don't know if this tank pilot uh, figures he's making a ploy or what he's doing there. But uh, I guess he figured he was going to lose that tank anyway. He might as well kill me. It's kind of useless at that point. You might as well just stay in the tank and go down with it. It doesn't really make any difference either way. You lose the tank one way or the other. Which is what matters. Uh, we're starting to turn it around a little bit here. This orb carrier is going to give us a lot of trouble. He's, he's, he's got like two or three people going after him in vehicles and he's just walking right through them. That's, re that's really great when you see that. Of course he's got some help there. Not sure if he's going to manage to cap. He's going after the nuke. I've got the orb. Yeah, I might get it this time. Yeah, I did get it. Don't know if I'll get away with it. Yeah, I guess I did get away with it. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna take down the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take down the enemy prime with it. There we go. Attack the tank mode. So that's turned it around pretty well. Attack yeah, we're not even halfway mode. through this, so we're not gonna hang on to that the whole time. Oh, also got a really good floodgate match out of this night. I what I what I uh, I wanted to post these earlier, but it's yeah, it's been hard. I you know I get home, I just have time to play a little bit, and I don't really have time to do this. I'm staying up late to do this. I still got to go to work tomorrow, and then I probably got to I got to go Saturday and do something about the brakes on my car because they're about shot. I'd fix it myself, but I don't have the parts, you know, I gotta get the parts, I, I can't get the parts before Saturday, and I gotta drive the thing on Monday, so, it's one of those kind of situations, probably ought to just take it down to Midas or something, maybe they can fix it on set, that would be nice, uh oh, thought it was dead for sure there, I think, I, was, I think, yeah, somebody else is gonna weaken him for me, I'm gonna finish him off, and then finish this guy off. We've kind of got him on the road. Oh, this is, this is a stupid move. The link gun is actually pretty effective against the tank, but you got to be careful how you position yourself, because if you put yourself anywhere where he can get you with that gun, he will do it. Uh, we're going to cap here, I believe. No, no, we're not. I think it closed, but... I think I killed Captain Quirk like three, four times in a row, but he's going to get me this time. This is one This is one thing he does know how to do. He's going to... Yep. When you're when you're trying to run the orb to the enemy node, you know you got to bear in mind that the enemy can often see where you are. Uh, your little node, your little your little orb 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 icon shows up on that map there, and, and if you're familiar with the map at all, you can look at that. And you can tell where the guy is, you know, because there's only one approach on that side, so he knows you're coming through that door. So oftentimes you take that route with the orb. You go through that door. You can expect there to be somebody on the other side who's just sitting there loading up his rockets, you know, so that so that he knows he's going to have three rockets ready to go, loaded up and ready to go just as you walk through there. And he's going to use them on you. One of the finer points of running the uh, running the orb is, you know, knowing which routes you can take and what you can expect when you take them. So we're doing really good though. I mean, uh, we still have, we got center. It's kind of a race here, but no, I didn't think I was going to get that. I just wanted to slow him down a little bit. It's not working out though. Yeah, we did lose center again, but red hasn't been taken either. We got vehicles up here defending us, so we're doing really well. Pretty well. This is nice. This guy jumps out of his man that I tried to suicide. He, he, he denies the suicide before it runs him over. Grab the shape charge. That's okay. I denied the cap right there. I think they're gonna cap anyway. But we got an orb incoming, so yeah, they did cap. We'll take out their bender. And uh Attack the Grab the Redeemer. 
Yeah, okay, so now red's holding center, and I'm gonna try and get hold of that nuke again, but I think somebody else is gonna beat me to it. I love, you know, I don't mind seeing, I don't mind, I don't mind somebody else getting a nuke as long as they're on my team. It's nice to know that there's other people on the team that are paying attention and stuff like that. And here, eh, a little late to steal the uh, thing, a little late to commit suicide on the orb. I don't know if Red's gonna recover that or not. They probably will. Well, they didn't. They didn't cap, but uh, they did end up with control of the uh, control of the node. Attack. If they can build it. Okay, looks like we killed off all their people, so we might get it back. Maybe. I'm trying to get lined up for a suicide here, but I'm gonna catch a suicide. But yeah, right there. Shape charge. About nine minutes left to go. We're still behind. We're gonna bring it back up, though. I don't really know how to do commentary for this map, you know, because it's pretty—it's—it's it's a really basic map. With uh, it's not. I don't know that I always make the right decisions about what to do. I don't spend, I don't, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the or, to the tank node. I mean, it is important, and it does matter who gets the tank, but it doesn't necessarily matter all that much. It just depends on how good your team is at killing the tank. If you can kill the tank, it doesn't really matter if the other team gets it. Double kill. Oh, uh, bleeder! Yeah, he was a noob. I hadn't seen him before. We do get we we do get some noobs out here. It's it's, it's nice to see them, but they're a little easy to kill too. It's nice when they hang around and learn how to play. Yeah, there you go. There, same thing happened again. Ran off to get the nuke, and teammate got it first. That's good. Hopefully, he'll use it. There's that tank. Yeah, I was there talking about killing the tank. Well, it wouldn't be doing it. I think we got it with the nuke. Yep. There's Bleeder again. I never kill anybody doing that, but I got him. Let me grab that orb. Attack the center node. And go after center. That mana being no use at all. I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah. Nice try, but, yeah. I think somebody else might pick it up. Or maybe not. We might lose our we might lose our prime again. There's nobody here but me, and we're wide open, so. However, we do have even teams now. We picked up another player somewhere, or two. And grab that orb. Yep, here comes the red orb. I figured you'd have to show up sooner or later. Yep, there they got it. I figured they would. Because we had no defense. There was nobody there but me, and that's no defense. You know, I think I'm a real. I think I'm. I think I'm a really. I think I'm a really super player and everything like that. But uh, nah, I'm not that. I'm not that good, really. You believe me by by myself at the prime. I can't hold it all by myself. Not if there's any. Not if there's two or three people determined to get it. Blue core is secure. You know, it's uh, it's hard to tell people how to play this game. You know, but it it, it really is. You know, it's it's the best. There's a lot of games that, that make that do this. Uh oh, there's that new game. There's a lot of games that do this basic kind of uh, that do the base this basic kind of game type. But this, I think, this is the best one. And it's it, it really it, it it's a very, it is a, it is a simple game. Really, it really is. But it's it's kind of hard to tell people how to play it. You know, it's like you gotta. You gotta control the important points. And basically, you get out here and you just gotta know which way to go. You know what to do, what's important to do at each moment. That's all. It's not always really easy to know. You know, there's, and sometimes there's more than one thing. You know, you could there's there, sometimes there's several different things that you could be doing. Any one of which could be useful. Any one of which might turn out to be critical. You pretty much just sort of guess at. I think we're about to, I think we're about to lock it. I think we're about to nail this down. 
I was thinking about trying to get up on the dock there and do a, do a defense, but it looks like we got a chance of taking down the center, so I want to get out there in time for that. I might know. What was that? Oh, Scorpion self destruct, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, right now, what should I do? I should, I could, I could defend the prime, or go after center, or keep this guy from taking the tank node. I'm still worried about it, but he's going to run upstairs there and just kind of disappear. It doesn't look like he's going to make any attempt to take the tank node. So yeah, see, there's multiple things you can do at any given time. You can defend the tank node. You can defend the prime. You can you can hit the uh, you can hit the center. You can try to grab these power ups. You know what's the critical thing to do? Well, there's that hit again. I'm gonna totally red red got it that time. And in that case, you know, what I, the one thing I neglected to do, which happens quite often, the one thing I neglected to do was the same thing everybody else on the team was neglecting to do, which was defend our prime, you know. I don't doubt that our prime was probably sitting there with very few people, you know, watching it. And it was only a matter of time before it occurred to Red that probably what they ought to do is try to cap our prime. Attack the tank node. But, you know, it's not real easy to do what you know, you know, it's, it's, you try to develop an instinct for what you should do, and in that case, what my instinct should have been telling me to do was go, go defend the prime. Didn't do it anyway. There's another instinct that tells you to, you, uh, to, oh, somebody else will defend, you should go ahead and attack, because somebody has to attack, you know. Which is true, somebody does have to attack. But all the attacking in the world doesn't do any good if nobody defends the uh, the point behind you. Unless it just never occurs to the enemy that uh, they can just go around your attackers and take the point behind you and then it doesn't matter about the attackers because they've got your prime. Uh, I mean, I yell, I yell at people all the time about stuff like that, but the fact is I do it myself, you know, because the temptation is there, you know, you want to go attack the next objective, you want to grab the power-ups, you know, you want to keep them from getting the tank. And those are distractions to me, but uh, they're important distractions, and they're, and, you know, they're distractions that sometimes turn out to be more important than the main objective, but usually not. But quite often I get on here and I tend to make an effort to just stick to the basics, which is um, take the center, hold the prime, take the center, take the enemy prime. You know, let some let let somebody else deal with the uh, the fancy stuff, taking the nuke and uh, killing the enemy tank and all that other stuff. Just concentrate on the basics, which is uh, control the map. I do the same thing on Floodgate, you know, people want to people want to do crazy things on Floodgate, you know, like hold the orb at the Flood all the time. They never do anything but run the orb to the Flood all the time, and while they're sitting there parked at the Flood with their precious orb, you lose the entire map, you know, unless somebody else puts a lot of effort into holding on to it. And that's pretty much what I do. A lot of times, but not always. And oftentimes when I don't do that, it turns out to be a huge mistake. Now we got a tank in our prime. Which people will complain about, but it's a, it's a defense and it's a really good one. That's pretty much what's going to win us the game, you know. Once you get... Once you, peop, once you get people using what, you know, using what, using the stuff on the map to their advantage. You know, we got a tank holding the prime. So other people can take everything else and move it out against the, on the center, which means we will get the center. And once we make some uh, progress with that, the tank comes out and helps out. Although you'll get some people that will take the position that, you know, well, I'll just hold the tank in the, in the prime the whole damn game. That way we don't lose the tank when, uh, 
in case your in case your assault fails. So you know, because you're risking the tank when you move it out like this. And in fact, I think we will lose this tank. Well, maybe not. Okay, there's a lag attack there. That's no good. Everybody take time out and kind of sit still for a second because the servers decided not. To. Okay, okay, we're back. There's a mana back there trying to shoot the tank down and being really slick about it. I can't quite get into position to hit him with these balls here. I'm finally going to shoot forward. I think I'll finally get him now, maybe, or he's going to ditch. Yeah, okay. That tank, but meanwhile, that tank's gotten really weak. I'm going to run forward and try to heal him a little bit, but I don't really have that much link, and I hope somebody else is going to heal him. Nah, we're going to lose that tank right there. Yeah. And then we lost the center at the same time. So yeah, that's right down to the wire. I mean, we're in overtime and we're still behind. But we're going to turn it around here shortly, right towards the end. It's a very exciting match. I haven't really been talking so much about all the different, all the little kills and shit in here and stuff, but they're really nice if you're watching this. It's an unusually good match. Oh, this guy, he's going to cap right from under me. Not one of these fancy players that can uh, that can uh, deny your cap with a with a shock rifle combo. Can't really do that. I do it once in a while, but I'm not really that good at it. I'm more likely to just try to lob a uh, flat cannon at your feet or something, which I think gives me about which I think has about a similar success rate because the shock combo doesn't always doesn't always work, even for people that know what they're doing. And the flat cannon or the rockets does work fairly often, you know, if you get a feel. I mean, it's not entirely luck. I mean, you have to have, you have, to have some feel for, you know, for the trajectory you know this stuff is going to take. And you can very quickly, you know, make a guesstimate about where to lob it and have a pretty good chance of hitting something. Pretty good chance of hitting something important, I should say. Like the enemy, like the enemy. Uh. Attack the tank node. We're still behind, 60 to 71, and fighting over the center in overtime, so it doesn't look real good. We're about to get another tank. Uh, there it is. I knew, we, I knew we had the tank node, and I saw it driving out, and I figured he was coming around down. Yeah, you know, I figured he was coming down toward, uh, down past our prime, but he didn't go that way. And for the next couple of minutes, I'm really wondering where the hell he is. But what what he's doing is he's driving around the back way through that ditch. And he's going to get up into the enemy prime. And he's going to be there just as I go in. And that's what's going to slow it up for us pretty much. Because I'm going to have the orb in there holding on to the, uh, holding on to the prime. And the tank's going to be there protecting me while I do it. And that's going to be pretty much it. Yeah, right here. Like, oh, there's our tank. Yeah, let me heal. Red core is and we got the red orb trapped right there. Red core is under attack. Red core and is yeah, they're taking damage. they're taking a lot of damage now. Now we're now we're ahead. Red core is critical. And it's pretty much a done deal now at this point. Well, not quite. I mean, as much as this has gone back and forth, I mean, I can see him. I can see him taking it back yet again. But it's it's pretty. It's getting late. And oh, I get to finish this up too. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna run back this way. The nuke's not available, but that mine is. And as low as that core is, all I gotta do is fly it in there and lay this on there, and that'll finish it up. Attack the tank mode. That scorpion's a little bit too slow. There it is. Lay the mine. I don't care if he kills me now, because we're done. That's it. Alright, happy to 